Well, um, a case of smart girls fitting into a smart car, perhaps. Goal 19 female students in Karachi fit into a smart car to get their names into the Guinness Book of World Records. Let's take a look at that. Now, during a gathering at the Creek Cub in a Club in Karachi, 19 female students squeezed into a two door smart car to break a previous record of 18 girls fitting into a, a, a similar car. Now, the previous record was achieved by girls in Australia, and according to the female students in Karachi, all the necessary formalities for setting the record have been completed, and the record was witnessed. Just take a look at that picture. Uh, stuffed in like sardines, but they've achieved it. Now, this event was witnessed by prominent personalities, including the Speaker of the Same Assembly, Nassar Koro, and former cricketers Wasim Akram and Salim Yusuf. And Eamon, I was talking to you about uh, how exactly you managed this and you said there were some injuries and uh, but you guys did manage Definitely. to do this. So talk to us about that. Uh, basically, it was we kept coming with different techniques and in the end we figured out the technique in which we could fit the maximum number of girls in the smart car because as you know it's just two seaters so yeah. definitely it's really difficult to get more than two people in it but uh, because we came up with different techniques with less injuries obviously we had a coach we had Hassan Aslam, we had my mom Shireen Saleem who helped us throughout and we had a proper training session so that you know nobody pulls their muscles or we don't come up with an injury and apart from that even if we did come up with an injury we had substitutes and everything Right. Okay. So it was pretty smooth that way. Right. So Emma, I was just wanting to ask you that. How crucial was it for you to choose the right size of girls to fit into the car that was so small, as you just said? And also tell us, uh, if, uh, talk to us about the girls on the team. Were they into gymnastics or Definitely. how flexible were they? Was that a concern oh. for you? I'll tell you something honestly, when I first decided to do it and I was looking for girls, the first thing I thought about was that okay, people like us cannot do it because it's impossible. So let me go to some circus or some, you know, place like that and get some trained girls who can like completely bend and, you know, be very flexible. But uh, I didn't end up doing this. I trained my entire basically my group of friends, all of them are from my class and other schools and basically all my close friends and they were not trained at all. Mm -hmm. This is honest and completely candid. None of them were trained and they were not even athletes. They were just normal and we just tried again and again to fit them right. so they just completely molded now, in their positions. Once again, uh, following up on Vakas's question, uh, when we talk about size, so of course I'm sure that must have been, there must have been a certain benchmark as far as size is concerned because not everyone or... Uh, yeah, there was, uh, definitely. Talk to us about that. Um, Okay, this, uh, there were many limitations and there were many rules and regulations. It's pretty strict. We had, uh, we had to abide by all of them and we did. I'm glad to say that basically it was 5 feet. Girls had to be 5 feet and that was their main requirement. And so we had to check that nobody was less than 5 feet. So we had professional people come and take their measurements by professional accurate instruments. And so we kind of fulfilled pretty much all the requirements in China. Right. Let's okay. see what happens now. Right, so Eamon, uh, I mean, uh, the big step is um, getting your name into the Guinness Book of World Record, and of course you've done the nation sure. proud. So uh, what's next? How does that happen? How complicated is that procedure? Can you explain this to us uh, briefly? Um, it's not that difficult. I just feel that you need to think outside the box and everyone out there, to all the viewers, everyone, I just want to give a message to especially the youth of Pakistan that you guys, everything is possible. Impossible is literally nothing. Just try to offer different no, but, uh, things and...